hello guys welcome to the review of the miui version 4 ice cream sandwich version for the htc sensation I'm just gonna go in the settings now and i'll show you the version of the software i'm using so this is the official miui for the htc sensation uh you'll notice the model number says sensation xe but uh, it worked on my normal sensation 4g so you can go ahead and flash this it will work properly yes uh that's the settings there um you can see a bit of change there in the user interface uh it's all based on ice cream sandwich uh here's the main home screen uh here's the dialer um by the way the little blue arrow that you see is just my uh the program that i'm using to record the video on my phone uh, you notice that it, it is a bit laggy and this is because of the program that I'm running which is recording everything on the screen but uh, in real life like it runs pretty pretty fast okay so if you see it lag a bit it's not the ROM's fault it's just the software that I'm using to record uh, with here uh, some of the things are still the same uh, the contacts do look different and the browser you can see it's based on chrome when i first launched it it asked me to sign in with my google account and it synchronized all my bookmarks so th this browser is actually based on google chrome you can see how the tabs appear there uh, that's the facebook tab i have there and i just opened a new tab and uh, <clears throat> there you can see it synchronized my bookmarks from my google chrome browser from my desktop computer to my cell phone so yeah now that I there I'm just going on to the Google website um, just to check it again it's slow because of the program I'm using to record this so please don't mind this the guys okay that's Google it renders well if you go in the multi tabs you can see the programs again it's gonna close that now and uh, what are we gonna look next yeah the messaging app uh, I have no messages so far. Again, I just flash this. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, I'm just gonna type a message quickly. The keyboard that I have installed is not the default one. I'm using Swift Key keyboard. So um, you notice yours will have a different one to mine. But uh, yeah, if you like it, the application is called Swift Key X. Make sure you get the phone version, not the tablet version, from the Android market or google play market or whatever it's called now uh what else are we gonna look at today? ah yes uh, i just switched off my screen and i'm gonna unlock it so you see the lock screen there so that's the lock screen there i'm just moving the button there to show you you can either go phone messages unlock it straight away or go camera app i just chose to unlock it Locked it i'm opening the theme manager from this uh, theme manager you can do things like changing your icons uh, your status bar like battery icons your lock screen your boot animation like pretty much any aspect of your phone that's what makes uh, this ROM really good and that's why I like it and uh, for extra themes it, uh, the theme manager even allows you to download extra ones online and everything uh, this one is called the black down theme which I just downloaded but I'm not gonna apply it. Um, I'm, I'm just afraid that it might crash their recording program. Uh, here's the camera app, and uh, for all those uh, HTC Sensation camera lovers, you notice that um, it still has the Sense camera in it, which is really really good because I love the Sense camera. Um, here you can't see what I'm seeing on the camera because of the program I'm recording, but the camera works perfectly. It works really well. Uh, same with the recorder as well video recorder it uses the same um, sense um, camcorder uh, what, did, what did I just open now uh, yes uh, that's the gallery um, yeah I'm just in the folders I'm just gonna click uh, back there so you see the default uh, view um, I'm browsing the folder there. So when you open your gallery, that's how it will look like there. You can see it has changed from what you used to know. Pretty good. Uh, now take a look at the music app. 
this is uh, the MIUI music app uh, it has slightly changed as well but unfortunately I have no music to demo this but uh, I'm pretty sure it will be pretty good as you can see already here it looks like really really nice okay that's pretty good um, yeah I was just trying to check the old songs there but nothing there uh, you also notice uh, the calendar as well uh, I, I don't remember how it looked before on the old one but um, I'm kind of liking this one again it looks pretty neat uh, I'm yet to synchronize it with all my other things the tools are still the same the torch, the sound recorder, calculator, FM, radio the campus uh, you all know that from other previous versions of MIUI and as you can see it works well oh and I must say the GPS works Bluetooth works and Wi-Fi works everything works perfectly I haven't come across any problems or any forced closes everything runs well this is the official version uh, you can see the Google Play Store there and that. oh and again it has the music app from um, HTC sensation so it has two music apps I will show you that in a bit now I'm just gonna open the market Android market uh, which is now called the Play Store if any of you get confused on what this is uh, that's the program I'm using to record uh, this video here screencast video recorder you can buy it on the market if you search it up okay uh, again it's really it's being slow because of the program I'm using to record this but uh, real experience with the ROM itself it runs really really fast yeah I was talking about the music app they've included two music apps the default MIUI music app and the HTC Sense music app unfortunately I don't have music again to demo that but uh, you can see they've included um, the music app from the Sense so I, I, I guess it kind of has the Sense framework in it or oh, um, here I've just pressed uh, the task manager so the task manager will actually show you snippets of the things that you last did there you can see the things I was looking at it will show you like which is really really good and at the moment it's using 480 megabytes of my RAM of my total 582 that's allocated uh, most of the memory has been taken up by the program I'm using to record uh, this video and uh, yeah now I'm just adding the widgets you can check uh, the list of the widgets there at the bottom that I'm coding uh, I'm just gonna try and add the music widget over there and yeah, snap works well just gonna go to a new screen there and uh, add the clock widget I'll just add the analog clock widget and snap it works well just gonna exit that and um, center it well and see how it goes and it works as well so yeah guys this is MIUI and here's the file explorer as well uh, nothing has changed from the file explorer so far I haven't gone deep into it but uh, for those of you who are familiar, you can uh, still see the same audio inter interface, you know. Yeah, so just to summarize what I've said, uh, everything works well. Uh, I haven't come across any problems whatsoever. Everything runs smoothly, no problems at all. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, they all run perfectly. Everything is good. So yeah, guys, head over to the uh, www.miui dot com and look for the download for the HTC sensation and please note this will work on HTC sensation 4G HTC sensation XE so yeah if you've got any two of those handsets they're the only ones I've tested with and they work well the demo I was showing you um, I was using it on my HTC sensation 4G and everything runs perfect Thanks, guys.